What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notifications. That way you guys can stay up to date with all the projects that we have on this channel. As you can see behind me, I've got my 2014 BMW F30 335i and today I'm gonna show you guys how to DIY an oil change in your own garage. Today's DIY video only applies to the F30 335 with the N55 motor. So as you can see, we are going to get this started here in a minute. So first things first, what we need to do is jack up the car. I'm actually gonna jack up the rear high enough that I can put a jack stand up on the front. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. If possible, it would be better to have your car on a level surface. You know, if you've got access to a, a four post lift or a two post lift, something like that, it would be better to have your car up in the air uh, at a level surface. But since I'm doing it here in the garage, this is how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna be using two jack stands and we're just gonna jack up the front. Okay, so now that we've got the car up in the air, I like to use some cardboard when I'm doing oil changes just because it can get a little bit messy and I don't wanna get all over my floor. So I've got some spare cardboard under here and we're gonna climb underneath the car. Now, before we go any further, I wanna show you guys what kind of oil we're gonna be using. So I purchased all of this BMW oil from FCP Euro. Definitely go check them out if you don't know who they are. Um, but we are going to be using some original, genuine BMW oil here and uh, it's gonna be a zero weight 30. And the N55 does take seven quarts. So I've got seven quarts here, and then we've also got a man filter, and this is the HU816X. So for the oil filter, as you'll see, it's right here on the top. Um, you do need a specific type of tool to get this off of here, but I don't actually have one on hand. So uh, what I'm going to use, I actually have this little oil filter tool that I've had for a really long time and it, it actually works. So I'm gonna use this with a microfiber towel just so I don't scratch it up over there. But I will put links in the description below if you want to buy the actual tool as well as the link to the oil from FCP Euro. Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is take off the oil cap here. This will just help us with the flow down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off, put that to the side and then we can crawl underneath the car. Okay, so this is a view from the underside here, as you can see. Um, so this is a rear-wheel drive car, and you'll see this little door, access door right here. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. And that is actually where the actual drain plug is. So it's got a little, a little plastic screw on there that we need to take off. So I'm just gonna use this little flathead and unscrew that and pull that little access door down. So it does not come completely off of here, so I'm just going to bend it back far enough that uh, I can actually reach the oil pan here. Alright, so this should be a 17 millimeter if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 17 millimeter. Okay, so we're all set up here. I've got my ratchet here with my 17. I've got my oil pan, I've got my cardboard, I've got some paper towels here because it will get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this free. Okay. Shouldn't be terribly tight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And that's why it gets messy. So we're gonna let that drain. This little door is gonna get a little bit of oil on it, but it is what it is. All right, now that I've created a huge mess down there below, I'm gonna let that drip out. And uh, meanwhile, on top here, I'm going to remove our oil filter. And so again, I've got this little tool here. I've got a little microfiber just so I don't scratch all this up. So there are actually little white marks on here that I think BMW left, or I don't know if previous owner did that, but there's a white mark here on the oil filter cap, and then there's also a little white mark on the actual housing. So that will indicate uh, how tight it needed to go, but it should be like 18.4 foot pounds or something like that. So I'm gonna wrap my towel around it and my tool here. Okay. So 
it would be a lot easier if you had the tool, just so you know. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this is a cartridge filter and it will likely make a mess as well. Uh, get some paper towels here. There we go. So that's what that old one looks like. Okay, so we've got the filter out. There is a little bit of remaining oil inside of here, so you can go ahead and siphon it out, but it's really not a huge deal. Um, I might even just use my paper towel here and just soak a little bit of it up. And then we can go ahead and prepare our new filter. Okay, so to remove the old filter, just need to grab it here and pull it on out. There we go. And then we're also going to be replacing the little O-rings on here, which I'll show you here in a minute with the new, the new kit. But we need to remove two of them. There's a larger one here, which you can kind of see, and then this smaller green one here. So our new filter comes with new gaskets. All right, so this is the new man filter here. Looks just like the old one. And it also does come with this little kit here. Inside of here, we have a few things. We've got a new rubber gasket and then we've got another smaller rubber gasket and then this is a crush washer which we're going to be replacing on the actual oil pan bolt itself which I'll show you in a little bit. So what we need to do, I've got a little pick tool here and I'm going to actually pull off this old gasket. There we go. And then this one up here as well. Okay, throw these old ones in here. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty simple swap. Um, as you can see on the actual cap here, there's a larger groove right here. So as you can see, there's a larger groove here. This is where the larger gasket goes. I'll just go ahead and plop that on here. Make sure it's seated correctly. And then take our new little green one. Same thing. There we go, back into place, and this is ready to go back. So now we can take our filter, and this just kind of sits in place, I believe. It's all the way in, and now we can go ahead and replace this on the car. Okay, go ahead and tighten this back down. tighten it all back up now um, since I have those little white lines there I lined them all up so we're good to go there okay so this is our 17 millimeter bolt from the oil pan and as you can see it does have a crush washer already on it so we're gonna go ahead and replace that if for some reason this doesn't come out with your actual bolt just make sure you grab it out of there before you put the new one in because if you double up on the washers it's not going to create the proper seal that you need and then you could potentially have some leaks so go ahead and Reuse the bolt here, clean it up, put our new crush washer on, and same thing, this has a little white mark here, and uh, that'll kind of indicate how much uh, torque I need. And it should be 18.4 foot pounds, so we'll go back into the car and reinstall. All right, grab this out of here. So I put a little towel up here because, as I mentioned before, it would be better if you could have your car on a level surface because otherwise the oil will tend to drain out of here and dribble back here. And so now all of this, my underbelly pan is all saturated with oil. So that's why I put this little rag there just to try to catch some of it. But 
that's what happens. All right, so that, there's a little, little white mark up here like I mentioned before and also one on the screw here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Always have a bunch of paper towels handy. Make sure your crush washer is on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of this down. So at this point, if you're ready, go ahead and tighten your bolt back down. And once again, I'm gonna line my screws up, or my, line my lines up here. Doesn't need to be crazy tight. Uh, let's get a little bit more. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. So now we can go ahead and tuck this back up in here. And go ahead and tighten this down. There we go. And we're done here on the bottom. Now we can go up top, fill it with some oil, and we should be done. All right, guys. So at this point, we've gotten this tightened up. We've got the bolt down below tightened up. We can go ahead and put our new oil in here. And so once again, this is genuine BMW 0W30. And approved by BMW for this car. And since this is the N55, it's gonna take a full seven quarts. So go ahead and fill up your oil. Okay, so I'm gonna just sit that there and let it drain for a little bit. All right, once you've got your seven quarts back in, go ahead and put your oil cap back on here. It'll click into place and go ahead and clean up your mess and we're good to go at this point we've got seven quarts in the car now we should be good to go we can go ahead and lower the car okay so now at this point we are in the car we can go ahead and check our oil level so go ahead and turn the car on so we need to make sure that the car is at operating temperature what you'll do is go into your iDrive here go into vehicle info and then go to vehicle status and then check oil so we need to uh, make sure that the car is at operating temperature and then we can go ahead and put the car in park or neutral and uh, we can start our measurement. Okay, so the car is warm enough to be at operating temperature so we can go ahead and hit start measurement. Go ahead and let it process. All right, so that took about two minutes or so. It now says that we are at the max line should be good to go there. Now what we can do is go ahead and reset our oil schedule over here. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and reset the service interval. So you just wanna hit the start button one time. And then over here, there's a small button that you wanna go ahead and hold down for about 10 seconds. So this menu will pop up right here and it'll kind of tell you some of the maintenance items that you have going on. Um, you know, this one says brake fluid in March of 21. So if you keep pushing this button over here on the left, it'll scroll through. So this one says 5,000 miles, 10, 2021. Um, I don't really go by what BMW says. They say you can go like 15,000 miles or something crazy. I don't like to do that. So once you get to your oil menu here, all you need to do is hold it down again. And then it says reset question mark. Go ahead and hold it down again and then it'll say reset in progress. So then you just let it do its thing and then it says reset successful and now it reset itself and we should be good to go. All right guys, so that just about wraps it up for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything that we've done in today's video, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise we will see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned for more, we'll see you then. Take care.